Hi guys, so in this IGCSE and GCSE math video, Leslie is going to be talking you through the derivation of the quadratic formula. Okay, the quadratic formula is used to solve quadratic equations. A quadratic equation is an equation where the highest power of x is x squared. There may or may not be an x term and there may or may not be a number. The quadratic equations are written as ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. We call a the coefficient of x squared, we call b the coefficient of x, and c is the constant or the number. Now, using this formula, an equation can be solved by x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac totally divided by 2a and I'm going to show you where this formula comes from. Okay, so start by writing down the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. I'm going to take a factor of a outside to leave me with a quadratic equation where the number in front of the x squared, the coefficient of x squared, is just 1. So we get a, and then dividing each term, we get x squared plus b divided by a x plus c divided by a equals 0. Now, because we know that a doesn't equal 0, and we know that because if a was 0, the first term would be 0 times x squared, so you wouldn't have an x squared term, so it wouldn't be a quadratic equation. So because we know a doesn't equal 0, we can divide by a and just leave us with a quadratic equation where the coefficient of x squared is just 1. I'm now going to solve this by completing the square, which we dealt with in another video. The algebra is a bit tricky, but the completing the square method is absolutely fine. So we're going to put a bracket squared. The first term in the bracket will be x. And the second term in the bracket is half the coefficient. So b over a, half of that is b over 2a. Now, if I square that bracket out, x plus b over 2a multiplied by x plus b over 2a, I get x squared plus b over 2a times x plus b over 2a times x again plus b squared over and then 2a times 2a is 4a squared. So the b over 2a x plus b over 2a x, those two terms add together to give me b over a times x. So if you compare what we've got, we've got x squared there, we've got x squared there, b over ax, b over ax, but I've got this odd b squared over 4a squared term. So I'm going to take that off and then add on the term I do want, which is the c over a. Okay, all of this is just a number. It looks complicated, but when you come to do it with numbers, that will just be a single number. So I'm going to take all that over to the other side. So we have x plus b over 2a all squared is equal to b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. I'm going to put the whole of the right hand side over common denominator and the common denominator for 4a squared and a is just 4a squared. On the top, the b squared stays as it is, minus, now with this term here, the c over a, I've multiplied the bottom by a 4a, so I multiply the top by 4a to give me 4ac. Now, if you look back to where we're heading, we've actually got what's underneath the square root sign at the moment, which is quite good. Right, now I'm going to square root both sides. The left-hand side just becomes x plus b over 2a. The right-hand side becomes the square root of 
But remember, when you square root, you get a positive value and a negative value. So the square root of the top, b squared minus 4ac, over the square root of the bottom. So it's over the square root of 4a squared. Now, the top I can't do anything with, so I'm going to leave it as plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. The bottom, the square root of 4a squared is 2a. One more line. Take the constant on this side. Take the b over 2a over to the other side. So it's minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. They've both got the same denominator, so I can just write the denominator the once, and on the top I have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is the formula you use to solve a quadratic equation.